Well, thank you for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope, where we pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer, because we're praying to the true and living God of the universe who hears our prayers and who answers them in His own perfect timing, because His timing is perfect and His timing will always be perfect. Amen. And also, we share the good news of Jesus Christ right out of this true and living Word of God, which brings salvation to you all if you believe by faith alone and repent of your sins. And if you do all that, it offers you the best gift of all, which is eternal life of Jesus Christ forever. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, God is good. Give him a praise. Jesus, you are good. Amen. Brothers and sisters, God is good. Praise Jesus. Today we got a good topic. Hopefully, hopefully first of all, before we jump into this topic, Hopefully you guys enjoyed yesterday's video. I know it was a change of, somewhat like a change of pace. I talked about things on my own heart, and I shared about growing in God. So I hope we can apply this. Be ready for anything on this channel. Be ready for more interviews. Be ready for more more things. I'm gonna try to change things, but we want to be on this channel. We want to be too be too comfortable with anything. We want to we want to change. We want change. Obviously, we're not gonna change the name anymore. Name is set. It's Chicago Prayer and Hope, but we're gonna change. Maybe try to change things up from time to time. Maybe change scenery where we film, but because God is a God of change, and He and change is good. So don't get too comfortable. Hold on to your seat loosely, brothers and sisters. Um, yeah. So today we're gonna be talking about um, and. First Chronicles 16 verse 11, we're going to be talking about seeking God and um, for his strengths. So we can have strength from God, seeking the Lord. Brothers and sisters, if you have your Bibles, would you flip along to First Chronicles 16 verse 11? And as you're flipping there, I'm going to open us up in a brief word of prayer to our Heavenly Father who is worthy of our praise in our prayers. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for who you are today. Thank you for your love that never fails, that never gives up, and that never runs dry, and that paid the price for us on the cross by the shedding of your blood, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Speak to us now by your word. Soften our hearts. Amen. First Chronicles 16, verse 11. You ready? Look. Sorry, brothers and sisters, I, I thought I heard something on the window. Anyways, false alarm. Ignore that. Let's get back. Look to the Lord in his strengths. Seek his face always. Can we read that one more time, brothers and sisters? This is, this is a really short verse, but a powerful verse as well. That we need to, I think we need to meditate and ask God what he wants to speak to us through this verse about. Let's, let's read it again. Look to the Lord in his strengths. Seek his face always. What does this mean? This means we need to look to the Lord. The King of Kings, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, who paid the price for us on the cross, who died for us. We need to look to him. For what? In his strengths. Because guess what? The strengths you have at your jobs only come from job I mean not oh that's not job only come from God only come from Jesus Christ the King of Kings the Lord of Lords that's where your strength comes from it the strength that you're able to perform at your job don't think that you're getting it from yourself you're getting it from God whether you believe it or not you are getting it from God everything is God's and will be God's in the end was God's and will always be God's it's never ours. So let's just get at that out of our minds, brothers and sisters. Look to the Lord in his strengths. That's what we are called to do. Then seek his face always. We are called to seek his face, brothers and sisters, whether, whether we want to or we don't. We are called to seek his face. Grow in him. Be commune with him. Learn from him. Every single day. Doesn't say how long. God doesn't want it to ever be rushed because God is not in a hurry, so we shouldn't be in a hurry. So my encouragement for you all today is that we can look to the Lord in his strengths and seek his face, always. Amen? Amen, brothers and sisters. Well, if you haven't came to God before, 
Well, you want to come back to God and know the practical sense that I'm going to give you this invitation to right now because by praying this simple prayer of faith by believing in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. Repeat, repeat these words after me. Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you. Would you please come into my life, Lord? I cannot do this life without you anymore. You're the only hope I have. And you're the only hope I need. And you're the only hope I want. So I repent of all my sins and I turn to you, Jesus. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, if you just made this prayer today, pray this prayer today for the first time with us, or we pray this prayer known as the prodigal son, then I want to welcome you into the family of God, or welcome you back into the family of God. Because scripture says, when one walks into the family of God, one walks back in heaven rejoices, and I rejoice with you as well. And I've been praying for, the, for this moment, because this moment, this, because this is the most, most important decision that you can ever make in your life, is by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ and placing your faith in Him. In the free gift of salvation, the free gift that he did for you on the cross, for you and me. It's the most important decision. So if you just made this decision today for the first time, we committed your life to Christ. I encourage you to reach out to me or to someone because we want to give you resources and next steps to take on this important decision that you made today. And also, we just want to be praying for you. Because we believe in the power of prayer. We don't want to muck you at all. We don't want to press you. We just simply want to walk alongside you, pray for you, and let you know what's next on this important decision that you made today. Because... It is a mo in, an important decision, and it's the most important decision, as I just said before, and I will always say again, until the day I die, because everything else comes secondary, but knowing where you're going to spend eternal life is so important. It's so important. Whether you're going to spend it in heaven with Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, who gave you his life up for us, or you're going to spend it in, in hell, separated from your fellow believers and fellow Christians and God and Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, so it's the most important decision. So if you just made this decision today, um, I said, no, I already said that. So, yeah, so I encourage you to reach out to someone um, so we can be praying for you. Um, yeah, we don't want to muck you all. We don't want to pressure you at all. I think I already just said all this. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, can I bless you all today with the powerful living word of God that um, is alive, in the, is active, and will you put your hands up to receive it? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you. And may we always seek God and look to him for his strength and seek his face always. Amen. Brothers and sisters, God is good. Hope you all have a blessed day. If you need prayer, if you were encouraged by this video, please click on the share, the share button and share this video with someone that needs to be blessed by it. Um, yeah, if you need prayer or just want to talk, Feel free to reach out. I'm always here for you. God is good. God is always with you. Most importantly, so remember that. Then feel free to reach out. God bless you all. And keep Christ number one. Have a blessed day. Peace.